Follow and like, share, invite others. We are going into our our intercessory prayers for now. Remember, our main prayer intention is for peace for the entire world. Then for your personal intention, let us go, let us take our verse of the day. Our verse of the day is taken from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans, chapter 9, verse 1 to 3. I am speaking the truth, I belong to Christ, and I do not lie. My conscience ruled by the Holy Spirit also assures me that I am not lying. When I say how great is my sorrow, how endless the pain in my heart for my people, my own flesh and blood, for their sake I could, I could wish that I myself were under, were under God's curse and separated from Christ. My people, these are the words of our Lord. This is the word of the Lord. As children of God, we are bound to feel the pains of others. As children of God, we are bound to speak the truth. As children of God, we have to also try to put ourselves in the suffering of others. Here, St. Paul is telling us, I am speaking the truth, I belong to Christ. If you belong to Christ, whatever should come to your mouth should be the truth should be the truth no matter the cost, no matter what is going on. So we are going, as we are praying for peace for the entire world, let us be honest to ourselves. Let us be honest to ourselves. Let us not be like hypocrites. We should be honest to ourselves to tell the truth. Today the wars we are having in the world are due to manipulation. Many of us don't speak the truth because we are in support of Tyrants, because we are in support of tyrannic ide ideologies, that is why the war is full of the world is full of wars. As I said, one of our main intentions is to pray for peace for the entire world. But the question we ask: Can there be peace without justice? If we want justice, there must be truth. We must stand by the oppressed. Most of us today will take part with the oppressor because of favors. Look at countries suffering. Look at many countries in Africa, they are suffering. Why? Because the minority are those ruling and those supporting them, some of most of whom are Christians, because of favor, because they want position, because of bribery. We have lost the goal. We have lost our identity as Christians. We have lost our identity as children of God. St. Paul is telling us today, to the letters to the Romans, I am speaking the truth. I belong to Christ and I do not lie. My conscience rules over me. Every Christian, your conscience should always rule over you. There is nothing we do which is evil that we don't know as Christians because our conscience is always there to remind us this thing you are doing. There is in, always that inner judgment that tells you this thing you are doing is not true. Today the world is full of Hatred, the world is full of wars because of what particular group of people are selling arms to enrich themselves, yet some of us support them. Because we have lost the identity of Christians, we have lost our identity of speaking the truth. See what is happening in most of African countries. We support those who oppress us. Look at most of the French-speaking countries. They have been imposed colonial taxes colonial agreements by the French, yet most of our brothers support them. We are ready to kill our brothers and sisters because of them. Why? Because we don't have that identity of Christian. If you have the identity of a Christian, you will always speak the truth. If you have the identity of Christian, your conscience will always tell you that this regime I'm supporting is an evil regime. If you have the spirit of God in you, you will never tell lies to support those who promote terrorism. Today they build terrorist camps and they claim they are Islamic extremists of which they are all French sponsor camps. 
in most of African countries, where you see all these Islamic terrorists such as Boko Haram, they are all sponsored by French, yet most of us will stand to support them. Most of us who've sold our conscience, today St. Paul is telling you, if you are a Christian, you must stand for the truth. Are you a Christian? Are you a child of God? Yes, if you are, then you should stand for the truth. Tell those people in power, those puppets they have put as presidents in most of these African countries, it is time they leave it for Christians. It is time they stop putting their people into suffering. It is time they stop spreading, uh, sp uh, the, 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 sprinkling the blood of their innocent civilians. Yes, that is the more reason I always pray for the young and dynamic leaders of Burkina Faso, of Mali, of Niger, that the Lord should protect them as they stand for their people. I am praying for Nigeria for the cause they have taken these days to go on street, to ask the government to put down things into normal, to have a human conscience. I am praying for the military in Nigeria that has had that conscience not to harm the people as those in Cameroon are doing. I'm praying for the police in Nigeria to also live that good Christian life to assist the people during this period because they are all suffering. Unlike the terrorists, police and military in Cameroon who participate in killing innocent people who are going to ask for their bet for betterment of their lives. We pray for you. We pray for you who are God-fearing. We pray for you who stand to speak the truth. We pray for you who are standing by the people. We pray for you who are fighting for the people. And a curse to you who is standing by the oppressor. A curse to you who is standing by the oppressor. A curse to you who is supporting the, op the oppressing regimes. A curse to you who participate in oppressing your people in favor of colonial masters, in favor of new colonial masters, a curse unto you and your family and your entire generation if you don't repent. We cannot be praying for peace and we support your terrorism activities. We cannot be praying for peace and yet we support you who support oppressors. You are cursed if you don't repent. If you are a Christian, it is worse because you know the truth. And the Bible says, you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. If you don't want this truth to set you free, my brother, my sister, you are cursed. All those of African brothers who have traveled to Europe, they have seen how Europe is being developed, yet they go back home to support those who don't want development in their countries, you are cursed. All our brothers and sisters who have gone to America, yet they come back home to support the terrorist regimes that are oppressing their people, that don't want development, who when they are sick, they rush with their people to Europe and America. When they want to go on holidays, they rush to Europe and America and Dubai. You are cursed if you don't repent. Stand by the people. Stand by the suffering of the masses. Visit the poor. Help the poor. But if you stand to oppress them, my brother, the Bible tells us the poor man called and the Lord heard him. Today is the day the Lord has made. Repent and rejoice to be child of God. St. Paul has told us in the letter of the Romans that if you are a Christian, you must speak the truth. If you care, go and insult me. If you care, go and call me names. But the truth is that if you stand by this oppressed regime, you are cursed. Cursed be unto your family. Cursed be on to your entire generation for putting others into danger. My conscience ruled by the Holy Spirit also assures me that I am not lying. When I say how great is my sorrow, how endless the pain in my heart. You see, a Christian should have that endless pain, that endless sorrow when you see other, Christ, other creatures suffering. When you see other people suffering, you should have that sorrow, you should have that pain. Yet most of us today, we participate with all these terrorism, terrorist regimes. We participate with all those putting our countries into a state of chaos. We give them opportunity to make our countries ungovernable. Because of that, if you look at the type of activities taking place in these our countries, there is bad governance, which encourages adoption of people, which encourages raping of young girls, which encourages all type of human transaction, 
which encourages the, 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 the circulation of human parts. Today, I say all those of you supporting these regimes, which have built all types of camps to be terrorizing our people, you are cursed if you don't repent. Every day we have our people suffering. We have our people who cannot go to the hospital, yet we stand to support these regimes. Most of our authorities are those sponsoring militias whose job is to kidnap others, whose job is to amulet others. If you oppose them, they send people behind you to kill you. Yet most of us support such regime. If you don't repent, my brother, my sister, you and your own generation are cursed. Today we are going to pray for peace for the entire world. Yes. What is peace without justice? That is why I am crying. If a true, a true Christian, the suffering of our people should touch your heart. The suffering that our people undergoing should touch your heart. In Africa, in most of our country, Cameroon, Nigeria, somebody is killed in the street, yet they will never investigate to find out. Yet most of our leaders come here in Europe where you cannot even shoot somebody in the street. You are caught in a camera and you are penalized for that. We live in a country where they disappear our people, yet we are comfortable with the regime. It is time if you support such regime, you and your family, you are cursed. Let us pray. Father, King of heaven and earth, we thank you as we pray for peace for the entire world as well as our personal intention. Father, let these words of March, of these words of St. Paul to the Romans, chapter 9 verse 1 to 4 really touch our minds father let it really touch our minds let us stand as true christians that we are we worship and glorify your holy name we give you praise father king of heaven and earth for you are the king of kings and the lord of lords father mighty we worship you we give you praise be thou exalted all the days of our lives father we are nothing without you that is why we come before your holy presence to proclaim your holy name that is why we kneel on our bended knees to Praise your holy name and ask for your divine mercy. Father, send forth your Holy Spirit to inspire us and protect us in everything we do. King of heaven and earth, we worship and glorify you. Father, King of heaven and earth, we worship and glorify you. We give you all the praise, all the honor, all the adoration. When I come into your presence, I'm so happy. When I come into your presence, I'm so glad. In your presence, there is anointing, and the Spirit moves around us. In your presence, anointing breaks the yoke. Yes, as I said, send your prayer intention. I pray for the spirit of humility and service in my new place of apostolate. Sister, may the Lord give you the spirit of humility. Accepting to serve him already is a spirit of humility. Father, King of heaven and earth, guide your servant. Look upon your servant as she asks for more for the spirit of humility. Father, let, her spirit, let the spirit of humility inculcate her in everything she do. Father, protect and guide her in her new station. Father, in her new station, may she serve better than in her old station. Father, in her new station, may she proclaim your word through her words, through her deeds, through her action, through even her way of silence. May she be a, a living testimony as she has been posted to a new post. Father, may she be the new Elijah of her days to bring more people to understand you, to bring more people to believe in you, to bring more people to be converted in you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Caressimi fratelli e sorelle, oggi stiamo pregando con il versetto della Bibbia, la lettera di San Paolo ai Romani, il capitolo 9, versetto 1 e 4, dove San Paolo, San Paolo sta dicendo che lui sta dicendo la verità, la verità perché lui è figlio di Dio e che se lui, lui sa che quello che lui sta dicendo è la verità perché la sua coscienza lo dico che è controllato dello Spirito Santo e San Paolo sta dicendo anche che lui attraverso la sofferenza del suo popolo lui non può restare tranquillo per questo noi pregheremo che tutti noi che siamo cristiani dobbiamo essere figli della verità dobbiamo avere la verità nella nostra bocca noi non possiamo supportare quelli che sono gli oppressori del nostro popolo noi non possiamo essere quelli che stanno con quelli che sono gli oppressi di altri popoli per esempio quelli che stanno oppressando gli altri paesi gli oppressori di, 
l'autre nation est pauvre. Et quest si tu es chrétien, tu devais affaire, tu devais sentir ce douleur de ce peuple pauvre. Si tu es vraiment un chrétien, tu devais sentir le douleur de l'autre. Et quest que si nous prions pour la paix du monde entier et nous ne pouvons pas parler de la vérité, la vérité. A qual, qual, qual tipo di preghiera stiamo facendo? Se la nostra preghiera della pace noi non possiamo chiedere la giustizia, cosa stiamo chiedendo? Non c'è la pace senza giustizia, per questo che noi dobbiamo pregare per la giustizia. Perché il Signore sta con questi poveri che stanno soffrendo, perché il Signore sta con questi che sono oppressi, che noi possiamo avere il coraggio di dire che quello che sta succedendo su questi paesi, su questi popoli, non è vero. È non, 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 non è buono. Se noi chiudiamo le, bo la, le bocche, questi mavaggi saranno i patroni, il loro versione che sarà conosciuti e questo dobbiamo essere pronto a morire per la verità dobbiamo essere pronto a parlare la verità di dire la verità dovunque comunque anche se devo portare la nostra testa dobbiamo essere pronto per questo sì noi vogliamo veramente la pace del mondo intero dobbiamo denunciare il male dobbiamo denunciare la bugia per questo stiamo pregando pregheremo per il nostro fratello Massimo Mariano che chiede la preghiera per il suo saluto che il Signore lui dà la guarigione. Mes chers frères et sœurs, comme nous prions pour, pour la paix du monde entier et pour vos intentions personnelles, aujourd'hui nous avons pris le verset de la lettre de Saint Paul aux Romains, chapitre 9, verset 1 à 4, où Saint Paul, sta, où Saint Paul nous dit que lui, sta, lui, lui dit la vérité parce qu'il sent, parce qu'il est, il est chrétien. Parce qu'il sait que son conscience est contrôlée par le, le Saint-Esprit. C'est pour cela que lui, il est assuré que ce qu'il est en train de dire est vrai. Et Saint Paul nous dit que si nous sommes vraiment chrétiens, le, la douleur des autres devait être, des autres devait être nous devons sentir la douleur des autres. Nous, nous, nous ne pouvons pas ignorer la souffrance des autres si nous sommes vraiment chrétiens. Nous devons être les, 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 les fils et les filles de la vérité. Nous devons être prêts à mourir pour la vérité. Nous ne pouvons pas fermer les yeux quand certains peuples sont oppressés, quand certains peuples sont marginalisés et nous prions pour la paix du monde entier. Nous ne pouvons pas avoir la paix du monde entier sans, sans avoir la justice. C'est pour cela que nous devons prier, prier pour la justice. La paix vient quand il y a la justice. La paix est une conséquence de la justice. Quand il y a l'injustice, il y a toujours la guerre. Il n'aura jamais la paix sans justice. C'est pour cela que tous vous qui sont en train de prier chaque jour pour la paix, sponsorisés par les gouverneurs, par le gouvernement, pour sponsoriser les, les, les crusades pour la paix. Et c'est toujours vous qui encouragez les terroristes, c'est toujours qui, vous, qui vous encouragez les, 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 les guerres, qui encouragent les ammunitions et vous faites les conférences pour la paix. Je vous maudis aujourd'hui. Le Seigneur vous maudit si vous ne répandez pas, si vous ne répandez pas pour prendre la justice, pour être vrai, pour dénoncer le mal, pour dénoncer les choses qui ne sont pas bien et vous encouragez ceux qui ne sont pas bien au nom de paix. Je vous dis, le Seigneur va vous punir si vous ne repentez pas. Let us pray, my brothers and sisters. Let us go, let us go. Let us pray. If you have any particular intention, let us pray. Let us pray for our sister. This intention, we have always been praying for it. Our sister whose father has been kidnapped is more than, I'm sure, more than 10 months now. Those are some of the consequences of the type of government we have. Those are some of the consequences of the type of regime we support who oppress their people, who, 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 these people oppress their people. These people, what they do, they sponsor terrorists, they sponsor kidnappers, and yet we want these governments to go. Today we are praying for us, we have been praying for our sister, for the father, Mr. Vincent. He has been kidnapped for more than nine months in Nigeria. There is no trace of him. That is a county, the, the number one county in Africa. Kidnapped for more than nine months. 
tell us what type of, are we in the jungle? Are we in the jungle? And yet we support such a regime. Father, King of heaven and earth, we call upon your angels to come and protect our brother, Mr. Vincent, wherever he is. Under what situation he has been going for the past nine months. Father, King of heaven and earth, we know you are greater than everything. We know when your time comes, you will bring liberation to the captives. The Egyptians that we see today, we shall see no more. Father, the Egyptians that our brothers in these African countries who are suffering are seeing, they shall see no more. Father, come and take total control over this family. Father, all these things are happening because of the bad governance we have in those countries. All these things are happening because most of our leaders are gang leaders. They are those sponsoring all these terrorists, all these kidnappers. Father, King of heaven and earth, we call upon your mighty power to descend upon them, to change them, to touch them, to torture them, to repent us. Father, King of heaven and earth, this family has suffered a lot. Come and take total control over them. Come and take total control over them. Come and take total control over their situation. Change their story, Father. Change their story. Father, put a joy in their heart as they will, as they receive their father. Father, put a joy in their heart. Wherever he, their father is, may the angels go before him. May the angels go before him. May they begin to release him as Paul and Silas were released. May they begin to release him as Paul and Silas were released. May they begin to release him as Paul and Silas were released. May they begin to release him as Paul and Silas were released. Father, may they not see rest until they release our Father. May they not see rest until they release our Father. Yesterday marked nine months since he was kidnapped. Father, for nine months these people have been keeping our Father. For nine months they have been keeping our Father. Nine months, Father, today we declare that this they are keeping his prayer and they must deliver it today. Father, for nine months today they must deliver. For nine months, Father, today they must deliver. This pregnancy of keeping our Father is already at the level, Father. Touch them wherever they are. Father, touch them wherever they are. Destroy all their camps. Destroy all their camps. May this man be the last victim they will ever kidnap. May this man be the last victim they will ever kidnap. Father, King of heaven and earth, Come and take possession. Let our enemies do not laugh and say, where is the God we are serving? Let our enemies do not laugh us and say, where is the God Sister Onye is serving? Let the enemies do not laugh and say, where is the God Reverend Sister Onye is serving? If his father cannot be released, Father, come and take total control. You did it many years ago. You will do it again today. Father, come and take total control. Do not put us to shame, Father. Do not put us to shame. Do not put us to shame. Do not put us to shame. Do not put us to shame, Father. Father Father, come and take total control over the situation. Come and take total control over the situation. Come and take total control over the situation. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Father, they say when the children of God were praising the Lord, the walls of Jer Jericho fell down. Let these walls of Jericho that are keeping Mr. Vincent begin to be destroyed. Let these walls of Jericho that are keeping Mr. Vincent begin to be destroyed. Let the walls of Jericho that are keeping Mr. Vincent begin to be destroyed. Destroy them, we 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 destroy them with the fire of the Holy Ghost, we destroy them with the fire of the Holy Ghost, we destroy them with the fire of the Holy Ghost, we destroy them with the fire of the Holy Ghost, we destroy them with the fire of the Holy Ghost, we destroy them with the fire of the Holy Ghost, we destroy them with the fire of the Holy Ghost, we destroy them with the fire of the Holy Ghost, we destroy them with the fire of the Holy Ghost. May they not see rest until they release Mr. Vincent. May they not see rest until they release Mr. Vincent. May they not see rest until they release Mr. Vincent. May they not see rest. May their family not sleep. May their families not sleep. May their family not sleep until they provide us Mr. Vincent. May their friends and families, may all they be tormented. May their entire generation be tormented as they are still keeping our father in their custody. Father, may they not see rest. May they not see rest. May they not see rest. May they not have rest. May they be put into torture. Father, Holy Ghost, come and torture them. Come and torture them. Come and torture them. Torture them in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Uh, Sister Anigo, can you pray for this intention, please? Just two minutes. If you are aware, you can talk, pray for this intention for two minutes. Are you there? Are you there? Father, we thank you for who you are. Let the immortal redeemer, the king of glory, the ancient of days. 
know him, we worship you because indeed you are God. Father, we will give you thanks and adoration because the Bible said that there is nothing our Heavenly Father cannot do. He is God that can do all things. God will make us to know that what He cannot do does not exist. He is the beginning and the end, the author and finisher of our faith. Father, we bring your Son before your throne of grace, but at this end. Elohim, we believe that the word says that you have a good plan for us, and we believe that you have a good plan for your Son. Lord Jesus, we pray. May your sacred heart begin to speak for him. Lord, we pray. Let your mercy locate him wherever he is. Abba Father, show him mercy. Abba Father, show him mercy. Master, we pray for your mercy upon him. Anywhere he is now, Lord, let your mercy locate him. Any power that is holding him bound, any power that is holding him in touches, in any place, in any dungeon. Father, by the power in the name of Jesus, we command that power to release him now. Lord, we release the Father of the Holy Ghost upon every power. Anywhere they are holding your son. The Bible said, it said, untie him and let him go. Whatever they have tied him, Lord Jesus. Any man, any woman that hold him anywhere. We don't know what they call themselves. They call themselves kidnapper or what? But we believe that to you, God, know all things. But arise and fight his battle. Mighty God, we pray for his lenses. For the release him and let your name be glorified. The enemy cannot take the glory of God in his life. But Almighty God, the Elohim, the Eshadai, the Adonai is going to take glory. For Bible make us to know that you are the mighty man in battle, the mighty man of war. For the arise, arise, arise in his life and set him free. For I set him free, we ask for his freedom anywhere he is. Let your mercy locate him. Let your mercy locate him and let any hand that is holding him wither by fire. Father, we pray that your ministry angel will begin to search for your son. Your ministry angel will locate him wherever he is. And your ministry angel will escort him and set him free. The Bible makes us to know, he said, in the prison, when Peter was in the prison, the, the, the angel of God break the, 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 the chains and the key of that prison to set Peter free. But I send your ministry angel to rescue your son. Send your ministry angel to rescue your son. Let the angel of war go before him. Let the angel of God war begin to fight his battle. Let the angel of war defeat any power, any man or woman that is holding him captive. Lord Jesus, we know that you can do it. Because we know that you are the mighty man of war. Have let Father glorify your name. Elohim and glorify your power. We believe in you, we rely on you. We know that you cannot fail us. You are too faithful to fail us, Lord. All our hope is in you. All we ask is for good news in the life of your son. All we ask is for good news in the life of your son. And let your blood begin to speak for him anywhere he is. Because the Bible makes us to know that your blood speaks for mercy. May your blood begin to speak for mercy upon him. May your blood of everlasting covenant begin to speak for him and let him be free anywhere he is. In the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son, in the name of God the Holy Ghost. 
Amen. In Jesus mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you sister for that invitation. We are now going to pray for we've prayed for peace for the entire world. There is this intention which I also hold very dear to pray for pregnant women. Remember, today the world order is to put an end to the family because any lady, any parent, be you father or mother, you are a demigod because you are a pro creator. You are helping God in his work of creator. God has made you pro creator, so the devil is not happy because of this role you play, you play. So we are going to pray for the protection of pregnant women because whenever they are pregnant, the devil is not happy. So we are going to put them under special protection of our Lord Jesus Christ. We are going to invoke the power of our, the Blessed Virgin Mary, who also went through this process of pregnancy to guide and protect these people to intercede for these ladies. Father, King of heaven and earth, we call upon you, you who created us and gave us order to be fruitful, to go around and multiply. Father, some have become anti-life. Anti, anti, anti -life. They want to see that life is terminated by all costs, yet they want to live. Father, King of heaven and earth, anyone who, rise, who rises against these pregnant women shall not see good. Father, you say whoever blesses us shall be blessed, whoever curses us shall be cursed. Father, whoever should curse or torment the pregnant woman is cursed indeed. Father, these pregnant women should be under your protection. No miscarriage should come by their way. No overdue pregnancy. No abortion. We come against all those against pregnant women. All those husbands maltreating pregnant women, Father, we come against them. We come against all their powers and authority everywhere they might stand. We don't want to know where the authority is coming from. Whether it's coming from the air, the sea, the land, we come against them by the power of the Holy Ghost. Are they coming from level 999, level 666? Anywhere they are coming from, we don't want to know their mundo operandis. Whatever power, whatever association they have joined to torment pregnant women, Father, we come against their power. For the Bible says, when the children of God are gathered, the enemy too shall surely gather. But since their garden is not of the Lord, they shall surely scatter. Father, they will come from one direction, but they will scatter in seven different directions. Whatever authority, whatever authority groups that have formed themselves to be against pregnant women, we come against their powers. We come against their power. We come against their authority. We come against their authority. All those abortion clinics, we begin to destroy them. We begin to destroy them. We begin to destroy them wherever they are found. Father, we begin to reduce their workers. We begin to make their workers to resign, to see that abortion is killing, to see that abortion is killing. All those government coming for abortion. Father, may they never win an election. All those government proclaiming abortion as their policies. May they never stand to rule the people. 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 In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Father, we cover this pregnant women with the blood of Jesus. They shall put to bed like Hebrew women. They shall put to bed like Hebrew women. Before the midwife will even come to assist them, they must have put to bed. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. We cover their babies with the precious blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. We cover their families with the precious blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. We cover everything of theirs with the precious blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Father, we pray also this intention for marriage couples. Father, we know that the first fight against the family is to bring separation. Where there is separation, there will be no children. And so during the family will die. Father, you said what you have put together, let no man put asunder. Yet there are those fighting against your family. Father, we come against all their activities. All those who have become divorce lawyers. 
Father, we begin to make them unemployed. We begin to make them unemployed. We begin to make them unemployed. As none of your children will even go for divorce. We begin to make them unemployed. Whatever is making these families to want to separate, Father, will come against them. Is it pride? We begin to make them humble. Is it misunderstand? We begin to make them understand each other. May they accept and understand each other. May they be able to accept each other's shortcomings in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Any other intentions? We have about four more minutes to go. Please follow each other, follow each other, follow those in the boxes, follow those in the boxes, follow those sharing with us. If there are no other intentions, may we pray for you all who have participated in this divine mercy. May the Lord show you favor. May the Lord show you his mercy. May he bless your platform. May he bless your families. May he bless your friends, your brothers and sisters. May he bless upon all those who look upon you. May he bless your businesses. May he bless those who have the intention to pray with us today, but who could not make it. Everything we put our hands into, may it be successful in Jesus' mighty name. May all our brothers and sisters who are sick be healed in Jesus' mighty name. We pray. Thank you, thank you. So may God see us through, bless us all in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. Tomorrow is another day, 3 p.m. Roman time, 2 p.m. Nigerian time. We shall meet. Have a nice day, all of you. If you have a particular intention, you can inbox me so that we can put it in our altars of prayer. Thank you. Thank you. See you all later. Bye.